the world on a map. Hi kids! Today we are going to learn about globes and maps. And then about equator, continents and oceans. Let's go! The earth is covered with land and water. There is so much of land and water and it is difficult to picture all at once. As a result the globes and maps were invented. Maps and globes guides to the world we live in. You can see where people live, how to travel, weather, and the shapes of the land. People have been making maps for a long time. The oldest known map was made over 400 years ago in ancient Babylon. In the past people have made maps to find food and water. Later, explorers used maps when they traveled to distant places. People who make maps are called cartographers. They give us the information clearly and accurately. Globe is a map of the earth which is shown around a ball. It is believed that the first globe was invented in about 150 BC by crates of Malus. A map is a flat drawing of the earth or part of the earth. Maps could be used as a book and it is called an atlas. When the world is shown on globes and maps, there is a horizontal line which goes across the center of the earth. It is called as the equator. This imaginary line divides the earth into the northern and southern hemispheres. Earth has seven large land masses and they're referred to as continents. The seven continents from largest to smallest. Asia. Africa. North America, South America, Antarctica, Europe, and Australia. The continents are moving slowly. This movement is called continental drift. The world was different from the way it looks today. Today most of the land masses are mainly located in the northern hemisphere. Scientists believe that about 480 million years ago most of the land masses of Earth were in the southern hemisphere. The large areas of water is called oceans. The smaller areas are called as seas. There are five oceans. They are The Pacific Ocean The Atlantic Ocean The Indian Ocean The Arctic Ocean and the Southern Ocean. Most maps are drawn in a way that North is at the top. North is indicated by an arrow with letter N at the top. In some maps you can see a compass rose. It is divided into eight directions. Hope you enjoyed this short video. Thank you.